Hollywood rolls out the red carpet, and to be honest, they produce great little fluff pieces. This yeah. is not receiving that sort of acclaim. They're saying the strangest Hollywood project to come along in years. Why really? the icy reception? Why that weird uh, suspicion? Well, it's, it's, it's not done in a language that they understand, and it's dealing with material that could be uh, dangerous. It's dangerous material. Mm -hmm. um, you're talking about the single event that probably influenced civilization mm -hmm. as we know it mm -hmm. now. Uh, even in the negative aspect, in some way, you could say that it, it, it goes back to that. I mean, it, it's you know created our laws and um, behavior and um, you know the knowledge of good and evil and all that kind of stuff. It's influenced art um, and uh, literature and, and every. It's it's affected every possible aspect of anyone's life, whether they know it or not. It has, mm -hmm. and. Um, so that this is big stuff you're like a recent do. interview when you approach this sort of material mm -hmm. this subject you draw enemies sure what did you mean by that well i think there is in the world there is good and bad mm -hmm. and uh anybody who wants to um tell a story of this magnitude about the nature of good and evil is going to draw people uh who are influenced by something dark and it's going to um, um, come and afflict you in some way. And I'm not just talking about only people. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a whole other realm because I believe in these realms. You know, right. I believe there's realms outside our own. Mm -hmm. If I didn't, um, then I, I, um, you know, I would, I would wonder about the point of this here mm -hmm. now, breathing. Mm -hmm. If there isn't something else outside this realm, then I'm a little late on world conquest, <laughs> is all I'm trying to say, and total subservience of every living creature to my will. So, um, uh... In the world. It's attractive, yet it's intimidating. Masculine, yet feminine. It, for me, I think evil is a, something that, when it comes to you, it's, it's not necessarily going to come with a sign saying, I'm evil. Uh, it usually will come in an enticing form. And you said at one point that a big dark force didn't want us to make this film. Sure. What was the force? What was the force? It's the thing you can't see. See, if you, I, I'm a believer, by the way. So if you believe, you believe that there are big realms of good and evil, and they're slugging it out. What does the evil side want? Oh, it wants you. It wants you. People are capable of horrors, of atrocities. We're also capable of wonderful things, of good things, and we have the choice. What do we choose, you know? And often, many of us, at different times, choose both. Actually, I asked Mel to present uh, this award to me for a reason, because when I couldn't get sober, he told me not to give up hope, and he urged me to find my faith. Didn't have to be his or anyone else's as long as it was rooted in forgiveness and I couldn't get hired so he cast me in the lead of a movie that was actually developed for him and he kept a roof over my head and he kept food on the table and most importantly he said that if I accepted responsibility for my wrongdoings and if I embraced that part of my soul that was ugly uh, hugging the cactus he calls it he said that if I hugged the cactus long enough, I'd become a man of some humility and that my life would take on a new meaning. And I did, and it worked. Um, all he asked in return was that uh, someday I help the next guy in some small way. Uh, it's reasonable to assume that at the time he didn't imagine the next guy would be him. <laughs> or that someday was tonight. <laughs> so anyway, on this special occasion, and in light of the recent holidays, including Columbus Day, I humbly ask that you join me, unless you are completely without sin, in which case you picked the wrong f***ing industry, <laughs> in forgiving my friend his trespasses, offering him the same clean slate you have me, and allowing him to continue his great and ongoing contribution to our collective art without shame. He's hugged the cactus long enough. <laughs>